Okay, it's the next part. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to Couch Potatoes. I'm answering the phone. Hello. Okay. Next, you will go over to your TV and wait for the portal. You can access the portal. I. You will not ask any questions. You will go into the portal. You will go through your TV. Please. Do it! Into the cement block we go! Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Oh, can we go, please? This hurt my eyes. <laughs> I go, it still flashes even if I try to skip it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn, what else is on? Any day now. <laughs> Please, can I stop fucking staring at this? Yo. Oh, did it actually happen? Peter, where are we? <laughs> where in Peter, TV the, land? the horse is here. <laughs> I'm a giraffe! Look at that fucking snout. Is anything actually gonna happen here? Hello? We're going on a trip, I guess. In our favorite rocket ship. This is very fucking basey. I am on every drug. And Joe Rogan give me his fucking DMT. I am I am straight zooted. At least I got my Gucci shoes on. Oh uh, bye. My ears. <laughs> oh! Oh! We're speeding up! Me oh. driving down the highway after ten beers. <laughs> What's up, B? Ah! <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> Into the metaverse! <laughs> this is the future that Mark Zuckerberg wants. Oh, is something happening? I can't. When does it end? <laughs> but he's like sniff snuff. Yep, that's false. <laughs> Bro, I'd be getting bored in the portal at this point. <laughs> he looks like he is. <laughs> Any day now. Oh, new colors are forming. Why does this take so long? Is this like a shit post? Like. I'm tempted at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so long? 
World's longest fucking cutscene. Oh. Anything? I can't wait to keep this whole thing in. If we had to suffer, so do you. I'm gonna fucking scream. How long is this? <laughs> Bro, fuck this! <laughs> I'm on my phone. <laughs> oh. New noise is happening. I feel like I'm in a fucking MRI machine. <laughs> Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Please do it again. Oh, I was gonna go, okay! Why'd you want it to happen again? That was like five minutes. <laughs> Wasn't long enough, honestly. Um. Um. Welcome to hell, I guess. Out the back door. Oh, things uh, you redecorated. <laughs> oh, but... oh my God! Yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have been able to do this. I don't think you're in Saber Hills anymore. Do I still have five lives? I don't know. I'm gonna take this nice and easy so you don't have to sit through a 10 minute cutscene again. Well, I guess we could skip it, but. Surely they wouldn't, they wouldn't give me five lives again, right? See, I, I don't like, he goes forward automatically when you jump. Oh, he does? Yeah, look, look, ready? I'm gonna not press forward, hold on. So if I don't press forward, Oh. I, I pressed forward a little bit at the end, so I didn't fall. But uh, that, that was it. Welcome to ca the cage. I can't tell if this is faster or not jumping. Because I speed up, but then I slow down. Uh, I think it's probably walk-ins. No, no. I think it's probably even is what I meant. Oh. Uh, I think you're right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm going home. To my I don't want to be here. Ah! <laughs> Play the Kirby fall sound effect. <laughs> ah! I don't need to, you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what part this is. I don't. <laughs> what?! <laughs> I found a conveniently placed handgun. Uh-oh, looks like things are getting serious in this game. The gun has eight bullets in it. The ammo is displayed at the top right. Ammo would be hard to find in a place like this, so use it wisely. Press the action button to shoot your gun. Read Big Dog's diary. It's getting colder and foggy every day. Something strange is going on in this town. I can feel it. Better keep my eyes open and keep track of what's going on. The days seem to be getting shorter and shorter. It gets dark within only a couple hours. Doesn't seem natural. The sunlight feels so weak. I can't really explain it. It feels dim. It feels very dim. Like an old dying light bulb. Is it possible that the sun is dying out? <clears throat> now the ground feels like it's starting to change as well. Like it's shifting from place almost. Notice that there are fewer people in the town. Still not sure what exactly is happening yet. There was definitely something wrong here. It's freezing cold. The sun was only up for two hours, and a large chunk of the town just broke off and fell into the darkness. I don't know where it went. It looks like it went into a bottomless pit in my ass. <laughs> As the big dog of this town, it is my duty to launch a full investigation and get to the bottom of my ass. I mean all of this. <laughs> I won't let the town get destroyed like my ass, not, <laughs> not on my, my watch. Ass. 
Keeping my eyes peeled 24-7, even though the sun is only up 2-7. Looking for the cause of these suspicious <laughs> and unnatural events happening in my ass. And then the large chunk of the town broke off today. Why is this happening? Received a phone call from a suspicious number late at night. Mentioned something about sacrificing for the beast. The beast in my ass. What does that even mean with the recent events happening? I doubt it was a prank call. Immediately asked for names and answers. The people on the other line threatened to kill me if I didn't do as they said. They then told me that they are outside my house. Looked out the vid- the video. <laughs> the window to find a red van parked in my yard. Grabbed my handgun and rushed outside. Two men dressed in what looks like scuba suits came charging at me. I immediately pulled the trigger. I fucking killed them both. Jesus. I was only protecting my yard. Didn't mean to kill them. They were just casualties. I wanted answers and blood. I rushed over <laughs> and started shouting, What's going on in this town? Answer me, damn it! But it was too late. Fuck! <laughs> Later called the police to come investigate, <laughs> but their phone line was dead. The whole police department was probably deep in my ass into the void at this point. It seemed like no one else was in the town except me. This is really fucking hurt my throat. I'm not getting anywhere here, but I'm the throat goat, So, I, but I'm starting to lose hope. I have no idea what's going on or why. There's barely anything left of my ass. Every day another piece breaks off and falls into my ass. The sun isn't any getting any better either. It's practically in my ass at this point. Today I disposed of my ass, threw him off into the ledge of the bottomless pit. This really fucking hurts. <laughs> Go to the next one, please. <laughs> a straight giraffe wearing red shoes came into town today. Said he was looking for the celebrity singer Love. He was able to find the town key that I had hidden. I kicked him in the nuts because he found it. No one has ever found the town key before. He didn't seem to be a troublemaker. Turns <laughs> Just go to the next one. The readers can they, they can read this themselves. This really fucking this legitimately so, hurts. A man wearing a creepy giraffe mask was in town. I questioned him. He said he was here to save the sun from dying out. This is a big lead in my investigation. Followed him home later that evening and waited for him to leave so I could sneak in and investigate the house. I knew something strange was going on here. Found some kind of portal in my ass. It brought me here. I don't know what this place is or how to go back. It might not even be possible to go back. The portal I came from isn't even here anymore. So see some kind of other ass or dimension that is connected to the merging of our own ass. Everything is silent here. I hear How loud long is this? And roars coming from, I don't know. I'm always certain that there's something living here in this dimension that is somehow draining the sun's energy. I keep coming across some strange ass worldly shit in here. Things I've never seen before. I have no idea what the dimension is, but I have a theory. I strongly believe that this place is not just somehow connected to our world, but it's connected to multiple other worlds, galaxies, universes, and dimensions across all space and time. Also, I don't think that this portal I came in is the only one. I'm 100% sure that there are multiple portals spread all throughout the other worlds and dimensions, which, every, uh, which will connect everyone and everything in existence. I believe there are multiple ways to access the portals as well, but how are they man made? Are they somehow naturally created? Are there multiple ways into a portal that can be made? It's possible that there's even the other portal life forms who already know that these portals and understand how to travel between them. <gasps> Maybe the life forms know how to control these portals, giving them the power to navigate through space and time at every dimension and existence. Do events that happen in other worlds somehow impact what happens in this dimension? My mind can't handle any more of this. Been wandering around this place for hours, but it feels like I've been trapped in here for years. Maybe it's been years. I don't know anymore. I've lost my sense of time. It's, is time something that even exists in this dimension? Came across a dead body of a giraffe. The head is missing, and there's a bundle of red roses in place where the head should be. Fuck! This is a long diary, but gotta write the but gotta write theory and keep track and support for the future. I'm out of ink. I'll probably write one more page if I don't come back. I failed as a big dog to project the town in my yard. I'm going to keep moving deeper down now, B dog. Jesus Christ. Anyways, you have a gun. <gasps> no! <laughs> Anyways. Good luck. Hope that bullet wasn't important. Can I push this? Anyways, good luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it looks like I don't need to shoot. Yeah, but it might be a good idea sometimes. There, I will say there is ammo lying around. Okay. I missed! Oh, it doesn't just kill them instantly. <gasps> <laughs> he 
get over here. Bring me that ass. Hey, what? Sir? Shoot him again. <gasps> they can die! That's a little unfair. <laughs> oh boy, I sure hope I don't get jump scared or anything. That would be a really scary way to end the recording. That would... Oh. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. You should be right there, I think. I hope. <laughs> Please tell me you got your gun. Oh, sweet. Ready okay, to... you're about to get the gun. Ready to read the diary again? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm afraid that there's gonna be some stupid thing where it's like, you didn't read my diary. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, bye, back in the hell. Wee Pop goes the balloon guy. So I don't know if you can shoot backwards or not. Oh, I thought I could hit him. You cannot. I got, I got stuck. <laughs> I literally couldn't move. Wow, this looks really fucking annoying. It does. Here you go. <laughs> Done. No. Uh, bye. What if I just run really fast? I mean, you could try. <laughs> Maybe I don't even need to pick up the gun. I mean, you might want to pick up the gun anyways. There's literally... No drawback to having the gun. I just want to see what he says. You're an asshole. I'm going to say yes so I don't shoot another fucking bullet. All right, here we go. I'm just going to fucking book it. the wrong way. Give me- No, give me the shove in the other direction, please! Shove me this way, shove me this way. No! No! <laughs> I was hoping I could use them to cheat. I think we should try again in the next one. Yeah, next time on Couch, Couch Potatoes. Bye. <laughs>